Uh, Brian, on reflection, is that a good point for your side today? Yeah, I think so. I think it, any any points away from home is always a bonus, isn't it? But but yeah, um, in general, I don't, I don't think we were, we were as fluid as what we were on Tuesday night. But there were certain qualities that came out, which was refreshing again. You know, the character once you go one nil down to bounce back um, was was great from my my part. Um, but but yeah, we. I th I think we all know we can play a little bit better on the ball. Um, but yeah, overall, yeah, it's a satisfying point. I think they, most, these are in a bit of transition. Not to count, you know, they brought a lot of new players in and uh, tinkering with different formations. Um, and I think they're going to take points here uh, over the course of the season. So, so yeah, it will be a good point in the end. When you come to a place like this with a, a big crowd, which I guess we're not as used to in our division, uh, is it important to, to try and silence that crowd early? It seemed that the start that your side made was really bright. Yeah, it was. You know, we wanted to start bright. You know, we were still uh, like confident from our performance on, on Tuesday. Uh, we wanted to try and take the game to Notts County. I think, um, I think overall, it, it, I was quite happy with, with everything. You know, even first half through to the second half. But I think some of the sticky situations we got ourselves in it was down to our own doing really you know we give them a little bit of impetus in the game just from certain individual errors um, which got their crowd behind them and, and then they started giving us a bit of pressure but, but yeah we've we seen it out I thought we defended well our structure was good at times um, and yeah it was a good point gained in the end Obviously for their goal I know Christian Dibbles had a good start to the season perhaps a little bit disappointed with the manner in which we conceded the goal Yeah it was it was Oh, it was a routine cross, really, wasn't it? You know, we beat, we defended them all well all af all afternoon, and I can't take anything away from the striker. It was a fantastic header at the back post, but but yeah, I think Dibbs will be disappointed. You know, with, with his positional play, probably. You know, I think he, he just got under it slightly, um, but the, the striker still has a lot to do, and he finished it off. But but yeah, from a from a defensive point of view, yeah, from a wide cross, a deep wide cross as it was, um, we had a lot of cover in the box. You know, it was a two v one situation at the back post. Dibs calling for it as if it was a goalkeeper's ball um, and somehow it ends up in the back of our net so it was just a, a bit, bit of a misunderstanding um, on, on, on his part but but yeah he can't be ultra critical he's been, he's been fantastic so far this season um, and he held his hands up in the, in the dressing room then In terms of uh, the game at that point perhaps a little flat in terms of Wrexham getting forward but it seemed to reinvigorate the side and a real response from them to grab the equaliser with Devonte. Yeah and that response comes back from our, our travel and support, you know. Um, we didn't go back on the back, back foot, we went straight back on the front foot, showed that character that we've done uh, in numerous games already this season to bounce back like we did against Barrow. Um, and yeah, you know, the goal, Devontae's goal was a fantastic goal. Um, Jazzy driving forward from full back, slipping it through to Devontae, a couple of touches and he puts one in the top corner. So, so yeah, fantastic goal. But from my point of view, you know, that's all the front four in the goals now, assists. Um, it just adds to that confidence builder really and uh, hopefully we can take it forward. Yeah, in terms of Devonta, that's two assists and one goal this season and he's not played a full 90 yet, I guess he's still building up that fitness so that's quite impressive for him. Yeah, he's building that fitness up, you know, it's a, it's a demanding role that I'm asking him to play there just, just off JJ, you know, in, the, in that number 10 role. Um, and, he's, and he can do it, he's a clever player, you know, that's why he's at our club. But I think the injury that he sustained in pre-season, just, just right in the middle of it, just, just knocked his fitness level slightly. Um, but and he missed a bit of game time. But, but now he's starting to get back. You know, he's getting later and later in games. It's only a matter of time before he completes 90. And uh, we'll, we'll keep seeing the best of him. In terms of the team selection today, two changes. One obviously enforced with Jake Lawler's suspension, but uh, Paul Rutherford coming in for Leighton McIntosh. What were your thoughts behind uh, putting Paul Rutherford in part of the front three? Yeah, just just to give us a, a, just a fresh look. You know, I think at home, you know, Leighton's a, a natural striker. You know, I asked him to do a job on the left there um, and, and choose his game, and, and he did he did well. Um, but away from home, you know, against Notts County, ex league team, I thought Rudders, you know, he came on the other night and got an assist. Um, I just thought his energy levels and his, a bit of creativity might have unlocked them today. Um, and he's done well, you know, and Michael Chambers. Michael Chambers was excellent today. So yeah, he did, he kicked everything, you know. He struck up a good partnership with Sean. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a really positive performance from him. One player I'm sure you'd be delighted to have back with Zaki Wright getting some time on the pitch today. Yeah, good, you know, he's, he's been off with his, with his illness. Um, it's good to have him back amongst the squad. You know, we had a real strong pre-season to Dakil, you know, and unfortunately this virus hit him at the wrong time, right before the, the kickoff. So, so yeah, it was good to get minutes today. You know, we just builds on him, just, just keep an eye on him over the next next few weeks. Um, just hopefully that virus is cleared now. Um, and yeah, he came on, you know, just give us a little little fresh impetus in the, in the middle of the park, really. You know, them two 
Luke Summerfield and Luke Young, they played every minute of every game. Um, so, so yeah, I just wanted to give one of them a rest, you know, young it was today. Um, and I think he'll come on and do well. In terms of what you're looking to achieve this season, Notts County were the bookies' favourite to win this division. Um, so I guess coming here, getting a point like that and, and you know, extending that, uh, that form after the win on Tuesday is, is a positive. Yeah, it is. You know, we, we want to keep building here, don't we? Um, I think, if, like I said, the, during the week in general, if you look at our performance value over all the games now, we could be sat top of the league, but, but we're not. Um, and we have to sort of realise that, you know. Coming to away games, you haven't got a right to win our away games. We've got to put in disciplined performances like we did today. Um, and hopefully some of our, our attack-minded players will, will win us the game. Um, you know, looking back on the other away games, you know, Boreham Woods and Dover, you know, we were. Boreham Woods, we were excellent value for our money there. Dover again until the sending off. So we all were building in the right way. Um, you know, our form at home is strong. We need to maintain that, that's key. Um, and I'm sure we will pick up points along the way on our travels. Now you return home and you've got a bit of breathing space in terms of, uh, of the time you've got to prepare as well. Yeah, obviously we've got a free midweek now, um, which, is, which gives us a little bit of time to work with the players because it is a hard schedule. You know, you don't get that much time on the training ground when you're playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. And obviously next weekend we've got a Saturday, Monday, so the whole squad will have to be ready and utilised um, to make sure we, we give ourselves the best chance of going into them two games. Cheers, bro. Thanks.